Good afternoon, Pastor Taylor here. Another great day. Got good news. I got cleared to go back to do to work, to duty on on moderate duty next week. Yes. Now I just pray that everything goes well for me. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and one, to the Savior whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified and risen again and coming again with life, liberty, and to all who believe. Amen. Don't forget your battle plan. Pray, fight, and trust. Today I'm going to read a out of uh, Ephesians 6, 23-24, a loving God. Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God, the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all of them that love our Lord, Jesus Christ, and sincerity Amen. Amen. He loves us. And the we're in a world that that is ungodly today. And the Antichrist is strong. We have to be stronger. It's a hard task in our minds, in our the devil takes over our minds. The loving God's here keep with us at all times the battle plan pray fight and trust in the Lord keep on moving forward I got prayer requests today only a few for healing and strength I pray for art he's in the hospital with an unknown ailment uh, Edna not doing well. Also, probably in the hospital. I didn't get any more words. Uh, Kelly is coming home. Prayers have uh, reached on Kelly. So, But still pray for strength for all of them. Rick and Barb and Kelly and the family for strength and to keep her well. Pray for the United Saints of America. Tomorrow they are going on a mission. Pastor Sylvester is going on a mission in California the California is, from what I understand and read, is trying to ban Christianity and ban of selling of the Bible. Uh, I don't know how much that is, but has become a worldwide thing also, and, and nationwide also. Yeah, it's been happening for the past number of years, I'm going to say, at least 30, 20, 30 years in the United States. It's all part of the revelations and, and part of the rapture to come everything has to come to pass and come to front in order for the rapture so everything that's happening today is happening for a reason and it's right here in the bible it tells us if you just read it you'll find it everything that's happening the antichrist taking over the world and other countries and that's happening today um in, in force, not only in the Middle East, but in Europe, it's really bad. The United States is a slow, slow impact taken since the 60s in the United States of, of the Antichrist taking over. They're filling positions till the day that they come to a full circle. It's just a matter of when. And it's a matter of what's going to happen, and it's a matter of who's, how you're going to handle that. Our enemy wants our heads. And I know the Bible says, love your enemy, but how can you love somebody that's going to, wants, that's going to come at you to whack you? I can't. I may not go to heaven because of that reason. That's just my own belief. I'm a warrior. I believe in protecting people, and I will protect that's the way it's going to be. You want to attack? I'll attack back. One way or another, it's going to come. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this great day. Watch over those that are ill. 
the, you know who they are, Lord. Either take them and make them well, or keep them and make them well. It's whatever your will is. Watch over them. Watch over our military. Bring them all back home. Close the bases overseas. They are unconstitutionally over there. Open all the bases back to protect our country, Lord. That's where they belong. The, Satan has been destroying our country and world for decades. There's nothing that can be done only in your power. Watch over uh, my son. He graduates this week. I'm um, taking a road trip to Missouri to watch him graduate before I go back to work. So watch over my safety to drive. Is, oh yeah, a little over a thousand miles. We'll be making it. Watch over us, Lord. Uh, watch over my friends, family, brothers, and sisters out there that are need need prayers. Pray for the little sheep foundation in Pakistan, Lord. The pastors are out there. The mission on a mission. Raising the Lord's name on high. Just watch over them, Lord, and guide them. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Watch over the world. Till we meet again. God bless. Get right with God. Don't forget the battle plan. Pray without ceasing. Fight. Put on the armor of God daily because to, living is a is a is a battle, battle in your mind, battle in your heart. Go to Ephesians six, read the whole chapter. It's the armor of God. Ephesians six through twenty one is the, the tells you about the armor of God. Put it on. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. Until we meet again, God bless. I'll probably pitch something out while I'm on vac away. I will see what happens. God bless. Until we meet again.